Hey everybody, it's Andy. A lot of you know that I really like the Belroy Transit backpack as a one-bag travel option. Many of you also know that Belroy's released some smaller bags inspired by that Transit backpack. Over here, I have the Belroy Transit work pack, which is a uh, basically an identical bag to the Transit backpack, but in a smaller form factor. And here, I have the Venture backpack, which is actually more of a combination between the Transit backpack and the Belroy Apex. Both of these, I feel, fit pretty similar profiles, and so I thought I'd do a video comparing the Belroy Transit Work Pack and the Belroy Venture. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Without further ado, let's get into the bags. So while these two bags are pretty different styles, they still have a few things that are similar, and I'm going to try and highlight those as I go around each bag. If we look at the front of the Belroy Transit backpack, uh, we have first this little leather Belroy uh, loop. This is, uh, you can clip something here if you have like a bike light or whatever, you can clip it on. And there's also this extra pocket with a lot of organization. There's a little inner pocket right here, as well as some pen sleeves over here. So if I want to stick in a pen, I can stick that in and zip it all. Looking at the Venture backpack now, we still have a similar loop as we do over with the Transit Work Pack, but there's a difference in the way that these bags open their main compartments. The Venture, like the Apex, has this hook and uh, loop system where you've got a few loops and this hook is uh, pretty fixed here, and it slides in and with two hands, it slides out. There are then also these two long panels, zippers, that let the whole thing fold open. We'll take a look at the inside a little bit later. On the front of the Transit Work Pack, we then have the clamshell style zipper opening. None of that uh, over hood like we do over there, but it opens similar to the Transit Work Pack as a traditional clamshell. Looking at the top of the bags, both of these feature some nice quick access pockets. Over here on the Transit Work Pack, we have a little short zipper that flaps back and forth. And this uh, quick access, it, it like folds in on the back side of this. Uh, still great size to fit like a cell phone or whatever. And then on the Venture backpack, we have a different zipper pull. This one is a bit more just like some thread looped over. And over here, it, uh, similarly, it fits down the inside of this hood. So it's uh, this one has a more soft felt lining. This one more of like a, just an elastic -y, stretchy material. While we're over here, I want to point out the difference between the um, zippers on these bags. On um, the Transit Work Pack, we have this sort of, it's definitely an aqua resistant material, but this is a matte color. This one's a, like a matte blue. Whereas on this Venture Backpack, it's a very shiny one. This is what I would normally associate with the AquaGuard term. I'm not sure if this is also AquaGuard or something similar, but uh, just something to note. Anyway, while you can see me holding on to these handles, uh, both the back bags have pretty identical grab handles on the top of the back. Uh, these are useful if you want to like hang the bag on a hook or something, but they're definitely not centered, so if the bag has weight, it'll lean a bit, but with a bag these sides, I don't think it has a problem. Both of these bags then have very similar uh, like a back panels. There's nice foam here. It's thicker on the bottom, and it's pretty comfortable to wear. Same over here. Um, I think this is a newer version of the panel, so this actually feels like it's more filled out than over here, where it feels like there's maybe some more give. Uh, but overall, it's pretty comfortable. The shoulder straps have a uh, similar material to here on the back. Uh, it's actually like hard on the front with foam squishiness on the back, and it's not that thick. And you got, uh, over here, it's not that hard on the front. It's like softer on the front. Still, there's something there, and then softer on the back. These straps are a bit thicker on the Venture than on the Transit Work Pack. One other difference between these straps is that the Transit Work Pack has no sort of sternum strap attachment, whereas on the Venture there are these uh, rails where you can slide up or down the sternum strap and it has one of these little magnetic clips uh, and the stretchy thing. So if you really need a sternum strap, then the Transit Work Pack is probably not going to work for you. Inspired by the Transit Backpack are the water bottle compartments in these bags. On both sides of the back of each of them, you'll have a little zipper with a compartment that goes down. And in them, you can fit 
water bottles. I've got a bottle like that over here and like a swell style bottle over here. Both of these compartments, it's pretty like, it's a narrow opening that you can stretch a bit farther to fit the bottle in. And like, even with a thin bottle like this, it's not always the easiest to get the bottle in, but what's in there, it feels like it has a lot of room. Also in the uh, Venture backpack, this bottle pocket has a little clip if you want to attach your keys to it. On the Transit Work Pack, there is a different style clip. This is more of a, an older style, I would say it's a, a, like a ribbon with a plasticky thing, whereas here it's more of a cord with a different plasticky thing. So a very high-tech terminology here, plasticky thing and different plasticky thing to show off. Now let's take a look at the main compartments of the bags. The Transit backpack is uh, very much like the Velray Transit, has a full clamshell main compartment, and it uh, flaps open like so. You can see I have uh, just some boxes to show what fits inside. I'll move those out of the way. On the inner lid of the flap, there is a zipper compartment here that goes just as far as uh, this mesh. And this is a really stretchy mesh. You can see um, I can probably fit one of these boxes in here. Yeah, that fits, that zips. And you can see it, you know, I'm not worried about the mesh right now. It feels like it's okay. And it's fine holding in that box. That's all it is for the inside of this lid. Now looking at that water bottle pocket earlier, if I stick this bottle in the bag, you can see how it takes up some of the space here. And you're gonna get that on both pockets in both bags. Aside from that though, we have a document sleeve over here where you can fit like a folder or some papers or a tablet. And then over here, this is the inside of the quick access pocket. That's all for the inside of the Transit Work Pack. Let's take a look now at the Venture Backpack. Very different, this is more inspired by the Apex. You have this hook and, uh, I guess, hook and loop? Not, not quite hook and loop, that's Velcro style. But there's a single hook and some loops that it can attach to. And I find that I have to use two hands to, to really get this done. I wish there was something here that I could grab to counter pull this. Uh, but once you have that open, this flap comes up and you can look into the bag. Though there's not really much you can do looking up here. Uh, maybe you can reach the top access pocket or you can pull something out. But in general, it's a pretty narrow opening. So we have these two zippers on the side to let you really open it up. The inner flap has this top pocket. It uh, feels like the same mesh. It can hold, can it hold the same box? It can hold the same uh, purple box up here. And this one you can reach when the bag is closed through the top, this opening. So if you need something that's a quick access, um, but you still want it to be behind the, the hook flap, that's a place to go. Unlike the transit work pack, we have this secondary inner pouch right here. And this is where I have the uh, literature that came with the bag. Over here, on the main inside, I've got a second box, and you can see where the water bottle's eating in here. Above the water bottle pockets, though, are two uh, stretch pockets, where if I don't want to have my water bottle in that sternal access, I might be able to stick it in right here and have it, you know, accessible from the top. Or if I have, like, a, some glasses case or something, I can put those there. In the middle, we have a not stretchy, this is a stiffer material, a document sleeve or a tablet sleeve. And over here is where you would stick your uh, pen or pencil. It's uh, pretty tight, it's this non-stretchy material. So if you have anything bigger than this pilot bottle to pen, it might not fit that well, but you can see the outline as to where that goes. Finally, over here, we have the bag's laptop compartment and that it, they advertise it can fit a 16 inch laptop and you can access it easily from the top just laptop in, laptop out. If we want to talk about laptop pockets though, the Velvet Transit Work Pack actually has a separate laptop compartment. This is that third area we haven't examined yet on this bag. And over here, they also advertise you can fit a 16 inch laptop. It goes pretty far down. Both of these are suspended from the bottom if you're worried about putting it down. But also there's a little flap here where there's more room to store something. 
I like storing my tablet, my iPad mini fits perfect right here, but you can also, if you want to put your charger for the laptop in the cable so that all you have to do is open this one zipper, that's an option. The Venture backpack just has the laptop pocket. There's no additional flap to open over here. All right, now I have the Bellroy Transit work pack on. Uh, I'm about 5'9 and 140 pounds. And you can see it's not a big bag. It, uh, it, it feels like a small bag. It's pretty light. I have it filled with those boxes. And that's the comfort for this one. And now I have the Bellroy Venture on. Similar, uh, similar me, similar bag. This one I think feels like it's maybe a bit bigger on the dimensions. We'll go over the dimensions in a bit. But one thing I note about this bag is that the bottom here feels like it's jutting in to my lower back uh, right here. It's it just the way it sits. Um, I can feel a bit of pressure there that I didn't feel on the Transit work pack. So the Transit work pack and the Venture backpack by Bellroy both fit fairly similar profiles. Looking at a few specs, the Transit work pack comes in at $200, whereas the Venture backpack is $239. The um, the size of them are 20 liters and 22 liters, respectively, with weights of 30 ounces and 36 ounces. Dimension-wise, uh, in millimeters, because that's what they have on the website, the Transit work pack comes in at 500 by 320 by 180, and the Venture backpack comes in at 482 by 335 by 122. One thing that I find interesting, and I think it may just be the way the bags are laid out, if you measure and multiply together those external dimensions, the work pack, the transit work pack is actually a bit bigger in like square millimeters, but it might just be that the way that the bags are laid out with this being a full clamshell in the laptop pocket versus this being a more uh, narrow backpack with the different openings, that this one just has more usable space. I personally feel that this one feels a little bit bigger. Still, I think they're both really good. I think both of them would benefit from having some counter pulls either to this hook or uh, to the zippers down here. There's nothing to grab onto. But in general, they're both made of recycled materials, which I love, and I think that they both have some pretty sleek look. Personally, I'll probably find myself taking the Transit Work Pack around a bit more than the Venture, but I definitely know areas where this bag would be perfect. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below with maybe which one of these you like better style-wise, and of course, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Thank you all very much for watching and have a good day.